Hey folks, this is Jeff with This Week with JTT. And this is my two cents to my reaction to the video from my song from Please Act Right from Rahul. Like I said, I'm going to put the link on there below in my description so you know what I'm talking about. You see the video, even you'll be going like, wow. Basically, there's five reasons men are through dating in the West in general, especially black men. Now, women got to say anything on black men, they this, this, this. I'll talk about the good black men who got their stuff together and all that stuff, who's like, okay, they're building lives up, making decent money, making good money, and they're ready to settle down, but good luck finding the decent women because it's going to be hard. Now, here's reason one, number one why men are through dating in the West. Number one, they say that men are strong, uh, afraid of strong, independent women. <laughs> Seriously? I saw that one actress, I forgot her name, I forgot how to pronounce it. She tried to scrap like, when a woman says she's a strong, independent black woman, she's like supernatural, blah, blah, blah. Like going, are you serious? You make it sound like she turns into Wonder Woman. No. When you say you're a strong, independent woman, you're not scaring us. Believe me, you're not. What you're saying is that you don't want us, you don't need us, so go on. Get lost. That's it. It was a fear that make us walk away from you. It's the fact that you don't want us, you don't need us, you don't want us anywhere near you. Cool, okay, no problem. You say you don't need a man, next time your car breaks down, or especially get a flat tire, change it yourself. Very few women can do that on their own. And trust me, a grown man have a heck of a time changing his own tire. What make you think a woman gonna have an easier time? That's why you wanted many things that men got to deal with. You think women going to have an easier time? Okay, sure. But that's just one. Um, see. Number two. Oh, this is my favorite here. When I saw this, I was kind of laughing this one. It says, they won't respect their own man. But listen to everybody else. Here's an example. For example, to listen to their boss. Like, okay, I need these done by 3 o'clock. And say, yes, sir. Hey, John. HR our manager. Well, you can't say this day of 30 fellow employees. Okay, no problem. To the garbage man, can you please put your garbage over there? No problem. Um, to your doctor, you got to take this message. Basically, she would listen to everybody, even her female friend. Oh, if I was you, I would listen to your man. Tell your man to mix his own lunch. Tell your man to buy his own dinner. You don't have to cook dinner. Oh, sure. I, I listen to you. I trust you. But when it comes to your husband, the man who has a covenant with God and all that, who is here to provide, protect, lead you in all that, you tell them no. You will not listen to them. You will give them an argument in a fight. Like say you go and hang out with your friends and get dressed inappropriately, or go to a club that know they have a lot of like pookies and ray rays, and she's going to go in there and dress it inappropriately, who has friends who are three or fours, and the moment that your husband says a word, you get super offended, you get defensive, saying like, you're not my daddy, I do what I want. <laughs> So you respect everybody else except the husband. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But bottom line, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. But these are the same women who want traditional men. It don't work like that, ladies. If you want a traditional man, you got to be purely traditional. You can't be like, I'm a little traditional. No. It's either you're traditional or you're not. You can't have the kick of you too. That, that's why men get tired of it. Like, for example, you say you're going to go date a man from Africa. Yes, the man had to bust his behind, earn his money, and buy stuff with cash. But if you want to be a, a man from, um, be a wife to a man from Africa, you better be traditional, which means you better be submissive, like it or not. So I know that there's no rush of foreign nationals coming here to get our wives. They're saying, nope, you can have them. <laughs> That's how bad it's getting. Okay, number three, women want a man that can handle her. Well, I saw that in a video when they said, like, a woman want a man that can handle her. Um, you're a human being. Even though you don't act it, you're a human being. Not a wild animal would be caught and tamed. <sighs> mm. If she has a bad attitude, bad character, smart mouth, Mmm, no, I'm sorry. The one thing that a man wants more than anything else is peace. More than money, more than food, more than sex. He wants peace. 
He loves the idea of coming home from work, relaxing, maybe like watching his favorite TV show, maybe reading a good book, or maybe just enjoy at least about several minutes, maybe an hour of peace and quiet. Because out in the world, we get the brakes beaten off us. But a woman that wants to be handled. Mm -mm. Sounds like she wants a sparring partner. Maybe like a Pookie or Ray Ray. Maybe she loves drama. Guess what, gentlemen? If you don't want drama, avoid that woman. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Number four, I'm going like, yeah, see this one. Take advice from single, better women. No. If she has a friend who is single and bitter, don't think about dating her. No, no. Especially if she listens to her and start taking cues from her. The moment she start talking to her friend and taking cues from her, run away. Seriously, run away. Oh, yeah. Um, number five. Um, high body count. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They may say, like, well, men have a high body count. Well, as the saying goes, whatever body count a man gives... Divide by three. What would body count a woman gives? Multiply it by three. Why say that? Because guess what? A woman has an easier time attracting the opposite sex than a man. Think I'm kidding? I can promise you, a man could go to a club, dressed in the nines, looking clean, fresh, everything. Head down to her feet, ready to go. All a girl gotta do is come in in a hoodie. And I can promise you, if the guy come in fresh, clean, whatever, if it gets two numbers, he's very, very lucky. A girl who comes in a hoodie, they get up to about a dozen numbers easily at the lowest, worst case. So I don't hear that um, women could get more men than we could get women. In other words, it comes to sex, women are the gatekeepers. But when it comes to relationships, especially leads up to marriage, we're the gatekeepers. Simple as that. Okay, that's it for today, folks. But um, like I said, check out the video from Please Like Right, the five reasons why men are not dealing with the women in the West. And you can't put a wonder. And the only thing that bothers me, though, it's kind of sad because there's a lot of good women, good women of all races, especially black women. There's good black women out there, good women in general. But because these other women act like, you know, oh, you don't need a man, blah, 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 blah. You're pretty much screwing up for them. So for these good traditional women, you got to stand up, be counted, and start talking to these good men. There's no, you cannot afford to be shy. Do not be afraid to start talking to them. Let them know, like, look, I'm not like all the others. Don't talk it, show it, you know that. And if you don't have a high body count, you're more traditional, more conservative, you know, like, don't be shy about it. Let them know. Thank you. Stay, pe stay blessed. Peace.